in this video guys we're going to be looking at calculating the correlation coefficient using Excel. Okay so the data set that I've got here uh, we used in the previous example where we were constructing scatter plots uh, so I encourage you just to use the same spreadsheet um, just to save you typing it out if not just pause the video and we can write it down. Okay so when I'm trying to figure out the correlation coefficient and trying to calculate this all I need to do when I've got my data entered in Excel is I just click on any cell where I want the correlation coefficient to come up and I just enter equals and I just begin to type correlation okay I just end there after the L so C O R R E L and then I'm going to open my brackets okay this is really important so feel free to play the video a few times just to understand it once I have my brackets I'm going to go through and highlight my first set of data okay so this is my arm span and as you can see down here it's got array one okay just it is important that you're just highlighting the arm span and not the height as well okay so see here I've got B2 to B21 and I've got all 20 of my data set. I'm then going to put a comma and see here it's just changed over to array 2. Okay, so now we're going to go through and highlight the height and you can see here we've got C2 to C21 and yes it's got all 20 values. Okay, from here I can just close the brackets, hit my enter and I've got my correlation coefficient. Okay. So remember this was our lowercase r value was this, so if we wanted to make it easier we would have, and it's not going to work for me, there we are, is we have our r equals 0 0.95. Okay, so this is just a nice quick easy video for you. Um, give it a try, just make sure you can use this because it will be helpful for your assignment.